In this video, we're going to have a look at the build process for these two Crux 35 Scratch Build airframes. Hey everyone, Cube here, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video, we're going to have a look at the build process for both of these Crux 35 airframes. So these are Scratch Built airframes. The first one we'll look at is this one with the Naked Vista unit. And this one here, next with the Encase Vista unit. So what I'll do is I'll just show you a slideshow of the different stages of the build and I'll just talk you through it. Okay, let's start off with this one. So here we start with the board. This is the uh, JHE MCU GHF 420 35A all-in-one flight controller. So we've got it flipped over, we're looking at the bottom here. Now the important thing to, mo to note here is that the, the board is flipped. So here's the front of the quad here. And you can see the battery connectors at the back, so we've, we've rotated it, sorry, 180 degrees. And the wires are coming, being soldered, so they come underneath the board and out the back here. Okay, 30 millimeter M2 bolts here with two nuts on them. So these nuts are 1.6 millimeters thick each, so we've got two nuts on them. Okay, moving on to the next slide. Okay, so this shows us the spacing underneath the board. So under here is where the battery strap will go and it'll actually hold the, the uh, wires, <coughs> the battery wires down against the airframe. So you can see those two M2 nuts there. And this is the standard Gromi that comes with the flight controller board. These wires here are for the receiver. Okay, the next step, putting on our capacitor. So the capacitor sits down in this part of the airframe here, this gap. And basically you can just bring it up and then just bend it back here and cut it about here and solder it on. Okay, so you can see in this one I've actually covered up with a little bit of heat shrink and I actually put a little, on this one anyway, I put a bit of heat shrink over the end here just to isolate it from the frame. Um, that's probably not needed actually. Okay, next part. So here we have it mounted and I'm running two, these are 24 AWG wires. So one of these sets of wires is going to go to the spike absorber, the FedTech spike absorber, which is actually going to be mounted in the stack. And the other one is going to power the Vista unit. So we're powering the Vista unit in this build uh, from, from VBAT, uh, straight from VBAT, and putting a FedTech spike absorber in there as well. I'm just using, this is just some blue tack here to hold the wires in place while I'm soldering them. Okay, moving on to the next step. So here's the capacitor and everything soldered on. Uh, I'm using this UART up here for the Cadex Vista unit. So I think this is UART 3 on the flight controller. And of course, this is the receiver. Okay, next up, this is just a 20 by 20 mount. And I've got the FedTech spike absorber mounted on there that's going to go on top of here. Um, you can you can make these up yourself, right? and I think some places actually sell them too. Okay, moving on. So here it is with the FedTech spike absorber mounted, and one of those sets of wires have come up here and been soldered on there. Okay, so on top of that, what I've used here, these are nylon, uh, four millimeter nylon spacers with an M2 nut on top. And you can see the other two wires as well as the, the UART wires have been soldered to the to the Canex Vista unit and that's ready to be flipped over and put on top there. Okay, so here it is with the unit on top and once again we're using the spacers, the uh, four millimeter nylon spacers there. In my build I'm actually running, you can see I'm actually running the wires through the, the middle of the build, the Naked Vista unit, as well as the camera wire. What else have we got here? And also the, at this stage, because the antenna is attached to the bottom of the board, you're actually going to have to put it through there and attach it at this stage actually before you put that on. Okay, moving on. Here we go with the top actually mounted. You can see the receiver here. Uh, so we've still got a bit of space here at the top and what we're going to do is we're going to use just a couple of washers now you might need half a millimeter to a millimeter of washers uh, just to, to pack that out these are just uh, material washers well they're made of some sort of uh, inert material 
and then the top plate is going to go on there um, yes and one other thing if you're doing this build because if we just go back a bit if we if we can see the antenna here here we go we're going through through the stack uh, to attach the antenna so we're going to need to cut it down a bit so let's go back there and you'll need to cut about this much off the antenna and it's going to sit very neatly uh, very flush down into that mount there okay so there's the build all done we've got the receiver mounted up the top here and you can see that the this unit is virtually flush with the top of the, the board there and i'll put the tpu mounts on as well all right so that's the one with the naked vista unit next we're going to have a look at this one here with the fully encased vista unit okay so for this one we're going to start out much the same way using the flight, same flight controller board these uh, motor wires 75 millimeters long uh, it's important to get them the right length because the you don't want the the uh xt30 connector getting in ways in the way of the props so keep them at 75 millimeters same thing with the cap bending it up like this okay so once again we're looking at the bottom of the flight controller board here so you're soldering directly to the bottom of the board and the wires are running back under the board uh, which is rotated 180 degrees okay this goes on like that now for this build i'm not using the the gummies that come in with the flight controller i'm using the standard these are four millimeter high um, dampeners here okay so here's, here's the important slide. If you're wiring up, this is the length of the wires that you need and the specifications for the wires. Make sure everything fits properly. You can just freeze it there and have a look. Okay, so the important thing to note here is the direction of the wires. So I'm actually soldering the wires, all of these wires, so they're coming back over the board and that just keeps the build nice and tight and keeps all the wires clean. These wires are actually going to run through uh, a gap in between the two boards. Right, so on top of the flight controller, we've got an M2 nut and then a couple of spaces, probably about one millimeter in total of spaces there. And that just and the length of these wires just allows us to lip, lift the Vista unit up uh, completely and just slide it down on top of these M2 bolts here. These are 30 millimeter long bolts. Okay, so once it goes on, it looks like this. We've got the, the beeper hanging out the back here. So on this build, we don't have a FedTech spike absorber. It won't fit in the stack, uh, but we do have enough room to put a beeper in the back here. So we're actually doing that. And on this one, I'm actually uh, running the running the VIS unit off the flight controller board. We're not running it off VBAT. It's running off a nine volt rail on the flight controller board. And so we don't have a, a spike absorber. It gives a little bit of protection, the flight controller board, a little bit of spike protection, not much, but a little bit. Okay, so here's the build here. You can see the receiver being mounted up the top here. Unfortunately, it's a very, very tight airframe. We don't have a lot of room for mounting a receiver anywhere. And this is the, the location I found best to put the receiver. Okay, there's the beeper there with a little bit of heat shrink around the, the standoffs. And that's how that's held in place. Okay, so then top plate goes on and M2 nuts on top of there just to hold it all down. And you can see we've attached the motor wires here. Okay, so basically that's the build done. Okay, so that's the build process. In the next video, we're going to do some flight tests. We're going to look at test flying this uh, 1504 motor and also this 1404 motor. So like and subscribe and stick around for that.